So welcome back to my laser room. Hopefully the sound in this video is of better quality than the last time we were in here. So obviously if we're in my laser room, we're gonna make another lasering video. Now I know that the majority of my audience probably isn't interested in lasering. However, I find it a really fascinating and interesting hobby to be involved in. So that is why I've set up a new channel called Creative Lasering. And parts of this video actually feature on its own separate video on that channel. So if you're interested in having a look or even subscribing, I'll leave a link in the description box below so you can take a look. Anyway, this video, we're gonna make some stuff out of scrap. We've all got some scrap and offcuts chucked away in a drawer. It just builds up until you don't do anything with it. So I've got three ideas that we can use the brand new x S1 laser and try and make some money with it. So here on my desk is a selection of my offcuts scrap wood. There's, there's quite a varied selection here. We've got bits of oak, maple, walnut, three mil plywood. There's even this piece of 18 mil plywood. Anyway, I've got plenty to choose from. So the projects in this video are predominantly aimed at small businesses because if you've only got a few pieces, you cannot do mass production unless you go out and buy extra materials. And that's not what this video is about. This is purely about using your scraps and offcuts. So for the first project, I'm gonna use a bit of oak. So after running this piece of oak through the table saw, I'm left with this, a slight taper on one side, and I've just gone over it with a sander and smoothed it all over. So if you haven't already guessed, we're gonna do nameplates. Right, so I've got my name plaque in here. I've had to take the honeycomb bed out because the distance from the little measuring bit on the side of the module wouldn't go down low enough. Now, normally when you do this type of engraving, you'd have to ensure that the piece you're, you're lasering is absolutely level and flat. Now, I've used the curved surface settings to try and do this. So let's give it a go and see how we get on. And then just like that, we have our own personalized name plaques. Now I've just gone for the channel name on here. You could obviously put a fancy border on it. You could put a company logo on it. You could even do the back. You could have a message on the back. You could, you could have open and closed. You could do lots of different things on these. I'm, however, gonna use this at the front of my desk. And not wanting the real star of the show to be left out. I also made a name plaque for the S1. So for the next project, I have this offcut of 3mm plywood. Now my thinking is we can use this to make some business cards. Now I know you can buy the metal business cards, but as I said at the start of this video, we're using scraps. So you're selling your scraps instead of buying a product to make a product. Now, for the purpose of what I'm gonna do, I'm not actually gonna use this scrap bit on this occasion. I am gonna use an A4 piece of plywood. So this A4 piece of plywood, all I did was took it outside and sprayed it either side with some matte lacquer. And you'll find out later on why I used the full sheet on this occasion. front engraving on the full stack of my business cards. As you can see, they look quite good. So for full transparency, Xtool did send me the S1, the Air Assist, and the honeycomb panel inside. I am under absolutely no obligation to say anything about the machine that I don't want to say, and I can give you my complete unbiased opinion on their machine. Also, if you're new to this channel, how about you consider subscribing and hitting that like button? It helped the channel out, it helped me grow, 
and we can do a lot more videos like this. So here is the finished business cards. I'm quite happy with them, but there is one little problem with them. It didn't include a link to anything on them. But don't worry, because I've not engraved on the back yet. Okay, so the reason I wanted to use this full sheet of 3mm plywood is because when you first put the honeycomb bed into the X tool S1, you push it all the way to the right and all the way back. So then you know it's in its position. So this sheet of plywood, I've lined it up on the 40mm here and the 460mm here so that I can always clamp it down in place. And then I know that I've got a perfect template then for putting the business cards in and they'll always be in the right place. I'll just save that file that I created on the extra creative software. And so now by having the QR codes on the back of these business cards, I've now got links to my social media. Now just for a proof of concept that they work, this is me using my phone on my business cards. So for our last project, I've got this piece of 18mm plywood. Now, this isn't ideal for this project. It will still work, but a piece of nice quality pine board, MDF, something like that would work a little bit better. So to start off with, after cutting the wood down, I sprayed it with two coats of white paint. Then once it had dried, I came back and then put another two coats of matte black spray paint on. So after I finished spraying it, I'm left with something that looks like this. Now, because this is a off cut of plywood, I've got to be very careful because there's two holes in this plywood, so I've got to try and miss them when I do this engraving. And there we have it, our finished plywood award plaque. Now these things do actually exist. I've seen similar ones to this cell where they're painted with a gloss black and they have gold lettering. I'm just using what I got. So I'm using the scrap of plywood and I'm using the leftover tin to spray paint that I've got. So you could play with this and come up with many different designs and sell this to small local businesses that don't want to pay some other great big company to produce them when you can produce them for a lot cheaper and probably just as good quality. So for you guys that are continuing to watch on this channel, this is a little bonus project. So now you've made all your stuff, what do you do? Well, you've got to pack it up. And unless you save every last bit of packaging that you get through your door, it's very unlikely you're going to have something that's ideal size. So I found this website. So I found this website called templatemaker.nl. There's absolutely hundreds of different box templates you can use. However, the one I want is down here. Here we are, the shallow box. So all I need to do is make sure my units are in millimeters. The length of my box is 260. The width is 180 and the height is 30. Now, all the other settings I'm uh, just going to leave as they are because uh, I've not actually downloaded anything yet, so I don't know how good or bad it'll come out. But what I do know is the red lines are where the laser will cut this box out, and the blue lines is where I put perforated cuts in it. Now, I don't think we can do the perforation cuts on the Xtool Creative software. I haven't seen the facility to do it, so to do it, we're going to have to use Lightburn.
So there we have it, those are my three quick and simple easy projects that you can make using your scrap offcuts of wood. Hopefully there was something for everyone in this video. So until the next video, bye!